assembled on their Logan campus for the announcement today. Would Stu's crew finally get a decent seat after putting together another top 25 season? Well, apparently the NCAA selection committee thinks very little of the Western Athletic Conference. As the league's champion, Utah State received a 12 seed in the southeast region, where they'll hook up with the Big 12's Kansas State Wildcats and earn a number five seed. The Aggies and Wildcats will play this coming Thursday in Tucson. Fox 13 Sports' Jer Bates has the Aggies' reaction. You're going to want to hear this one from Logan. After going 30-3 and this season and winning the WAC Tournament Championship last night in Las Vegas, it seemed like the Utah State Aggies were ready for anything that the NCAA could throw at them. Anything but this. They'll take on the Aggies of Utah State. I like the opponent we're playing. I think we have a chance to beat them. I think our seed is um, a slap in the face. Ty Wesley made no secret how he felt about the Aggies seeding in the NCAA tournament, but with his experience over the years, head coach Stu Morrill was able to take their seeding with a grain of salt. The last thing we need to do at 30-3 uh, and 3, uh, with the, the year we've had is be disappointed. I'm not disappointed. I'm a little surprised. I, that's what I'd say. Well, all of us wished for a little higher of a seed, but, you know, there's a lot of teams that were hoping they were to get in and that didn't get in today. And, and so we got to be excited with whatever seed we get. It's our third straight time to the NC2A tournament. It's our third straight time of a big challenge. Um, Let's go see what we can do. Utah State has been to the NCAA tournament eight times under Stu Morrill, but they haven't won a first-round game since 2000. They're hoping to break that streak this Thursday when they take on number five seed Kansas State in Tucson. With the Aggies in Logan, Jer Bates for the Fox 13 Sports page.